Good morning. Today's date is October 29, 2015. Uh, we did a warranty repair on uh, an M400 uh, IDI pump uh, for one of our customers. The sales or original sales order number was 150527. That's 150527. And you'll need to write that down to reference uh, this video so you can watch it. Um, but it, we shipped them this pump um, and it started it started working fine just like it was here on our site and uh, then it had a couple problems and we had to we got it back and uh, a few things had been taken off here and there and so we put it back together and, and uh, did this repair under warranty form so anyways uh, the main thing that it was uh, brought back for was that uh, the pump stopped filling and that there was erratic firing of solenoids or they wouldn't fire uh, It wasn't dispensing properly had problems with the suck back uh, But that was easily taken care of uh, with a few uh, It was just with a few uh, calibrations that we did and uh, We repaired a couple wires as well that we saw that had come unseated inside of a connector. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and run this for you. Um, and here we go. So, we've got the Kimnet software. We're running uh, revision 4.5.1 uh, for these newer pumps. Uh, this one handles the software that's on there. Uh, we have it set for 5 psi dispense with a 1.4 second delay of the dispense and um, this this pump runs really well now um, we'll come over to the catch cup over here on the table uh, when we start dispensing for you to look at the suck back bubble and uh, watch the dispense this this pump was also checked volumetrically we dispensed into different volumetric cylinders and every time it was exactly repeatable uh, to the dispense we did before it. So this pump is in really good shape and we've done lots of testing to make sure. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna go ahead and send the parameters for the program to the pump. Should always do that anytime you change anything and hit apply, if you don't hit this, it doesn't become resident within the pump's memory. So now we are coming over, we're gonna hit dispense, and we're gonna dispense. There it goes. We're running 50-50 IPA and DI water. Um, our customer had relatively uh, low viscosity on the resist they were running, so this is probably a relatively good test for it. Um, we run that mixture through here because it, it cleans the pump out while we're doing it, uh, keeps it clean, and uh, when we're done, it's, it's easy to clean up, and you know, it's just a, a good viable option for testing these pumps. Okay, um, this time we're going to kind of move in on the uh, dispense line, which is over here. I made some bubbles there. <laughs> So don't worry about those, they'll go out. I'm going to dispense right now. And there's the suck back bubble. Slightly sluggish, but that's been adjusted like that and it's very repeatable. Um, if you speed them up, sometimes you sit there and you got to play with it for a little bit because it'll want to suck too far or it'll become more erratic. Um, but this was a very good way to adjust this particular pump. So we'll do it again. We'll do like three of them here. Here's one more. Every time that butler doesn't drip at all, dispenses nicely. There's another one. And at idle, it's nice and quiet. You don't hear the valves turning on and off the way it was. We had to go ahead and, and adjust quite a few things because uh, there was loose wires at the pressure transducer and there was another one um, over at the pressure gauge. 
Um, that's the other thing. Uh, what I think happened is, um, you know, there was liquid in the in the pump, and somebody might have tweaked something here or there. Um, anytime you do a calibration on these, you have to have the pump totally dry inside. We even take the top of the reservoir off and dry everything in there, and uh, make sure it's completely free of any kind of vapors or anything, because all that can be can set off alarms within the pump. Um, so we did that, and then the very last step you do is you go and, and set up your PWM, and that requires liquid in the pump, and that's why you do it last. Uh, but that's your pulse width modulation, and that's basically the speed at which it is pumping, um, and you can adjust that basically through the software for different viscosities. It will help. So I'll do, I'm going to do one more just for... Good GP. Again, perfect dispense. And after every dispense, it did a refill. Uh, this also had an issue with the capacitive sensor, which is your liquid level sensor. And it was adjusted in a way where it would fill up about 10% and then it thought it was full. And I think that that was part of the customer's issue with uh, the refill. You know, the thing needed to refill, but it thought it didn't. So once we adjusted that, it re would refill all the way, and uh, dispense is fine. We've done some longer 10-second dispenses, things like that, and it, it won't run out now. So anyways, that's our test on this pump. Um, if you have any questions, give SciTech Process Solutions a call. My name's David Carroll, I'm an equipment engineer here, and I'm the one who did, uh, did this pump. And um, if you have any other needs, uh, any other equipment needs, or you have questions, feel free to give us a call at 916-797-9000 and ask for sales. They're very knowledgeable, and they can uh, get you set up with whatever you need. So uh, again, thank you for your time and have a nice day.